The following teaching is possible thanks to the friends and partners of Spirit and Truth Fellowship International. Have you ever considered whether you live in a new covenant or an old covenant mentality? You see, in the old covenant, the one that which was recorded in the Old Testament, specifically in Leviticus chapter 26, what God told Moses and therefore the people of Israel is basically, if you do good, everything will be good. If you do well, it'll be well. He said, make sure that I'm your only God, that there's no other idols, obey the Sabbath, and make sure that you obey all my commands. And if you do that, then he said that he'll send the rain on your land, the crops would be plentiful, the trees would give their fruit, that there would be peace in the land, there'd be no attacks from wild animals, the enemies would be put to flight, one, one man would put many to flight, etc. And so, really, many Christians are living as if that old covenant promise is applicable to us today. There's a real problem with this though. The problem is that that was a promise to a nation. It was never a promise to people as individuals. In fact, if you think about this, when the nation of Israel as a whole disobeyed, even though there may have been many righteous people that were obeying, then they went into captivity to Babylon, the Assyrians attacked, their crops failed, you know, all of the things that God said were going to happen, in fact, did happen. This is not an individual promise. It's a national promise. It's a promise to a people group, specifically the people of Israel. Today, we live in a new covenant. And in that new covenant, in fact, what Jesus said is, if you do good, you're going to be persecuted. That's the testimony of Paul. That's what we see happen to Peter and the other apostles. You know, they were imprisoned and, you know, they died, many of them in, as martyrs. So we need to be thinking in terms of the new covenant and the reality of the new covenant, the one that Jesus has established in his body and through the sacrifice of his death at the cross, is that if we do good, if we do what God wants us to do, we're going to most likely suffer persecution for that. But the reality is resurrection. That's what it's all about. We will be raised and we will have life everlasting. <music> 